Hello, this is your girl Physiology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you'll know exactly when I'm uploading new content. Today I'm on VU and I'm going to show you guys how to make a nice, unique icon. I'm going to give you guys a couple ideas and this is going to really make your shop noticeable. When we look at products in the shop, we tend to notice the icons, which is the first thing we notice. That captures our eye and that makes us want to try on the products. Let's go into the shop to show you exactly some examples of good icons. So the first thing you notice is icons that move. These are really nice. These are these are simple, nice, cute. Some items don't move. This doesn't move, but it's still made first page. Um, let's look at a couple of other ones that make the items pop. These are nice. A lot of these are nice. And then you see a lot of people with their their logo, which is not bad. So a lot of the moving ones, they're more noticeable than the ones that are staying still. This icon pops to me. Um, it's the first thing I notice. Even though this is before this, it's still the first thing I notice. You want to have stuff that is noticeable that's going to catch everyone's attention and that means more money into your pocket so let's get started on the first steps the first steps is opening up create mode second step is I'm gonna show you guys exactly the items that I'm going to take pictures of let's go so I'm in editor mode and I'm going to show you guys the product that I edited which is this layerable jacket I think it's really cute it's different and because it's summertime and springtime in some places you definitely want something that's gonna stick out and I like this jacket I think it's cute I'm going to take a picture of this I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to take a picture without having a background let's go so higher snap is you taking a picture that even with the background present higher snob is you taking a picture without the background so you're only seeing you're only noticing the item so right here we're gonna right click do not forget the star the asterisk copy let's go back into view so I copied higher snob now in here I'm going to do control V and hopefully it pops up actually I would have to click on the chat but I can't so the control V let me see and here it goes control V it works you press enter once it's highlighted and it automatically takes a picture of this whole avatar then you're gonna notice something the image goes right to your desktop so it will be right here with the other stuff and you're gonna put this in any folder you're gonna slide it into any folder that you feel like sliding it into and we're going to edit this photo so let's go the editor I use is iPicky but I could use be funky I could use a whole bunch of editors but I usually keep these up here and these are the top three that I use but I mainly use iPicky so I go to open scroll down I open this up I'm about to edit this so I don't edit too much into it as you guys can see there's no background so this is really good what I do is I do the HDR picture. It's my favorite. You see that? It adds so much to it. And I just play with it strengths. And I usually do it to like 15. Now, you don't see much being, you know, done here. But, hey, I don't do too much to the photo. I feel like the icon will speak for itself. If I want to add more, if I want to sharpen it more, I can gives it more sharpened look 
and sharpen it and I'm going to apply and save and I'm going to save it so I saved the image and I close so that's all set now let's go back into view and show you guys exactly what it looks like now I know I said go into view but we're going to actually go into GIMP so I'm going to go file open and background the background needs to always be 100 times 80 pixels always this is what it's going to look like it needs to be the size for everything that is the limit that is the only size that you can have you cannot change the size that's what it's going to be so you can either make your own background by going file new and then doing 100 times 80 and pressing ok you could do it that way or you could do it this way if it's already saved I make sure my background is already saved my background is plain it's black it doesn't stick out yet but that's okay now what I did was I went into Google let me show you guys exactly what I did I went into Google and I typed in all right some people they like to a lot of the icons they stick out but some people the emo icons stick out even more it draws me and more um, and let me show you guys why so I typed in emo PNG and this is what I got these are actually really cool and then I noticed the frames the frames look really good you're going to want a frame for yours so this is what I download I download the frame and also downloaded the skulls which is kind of cool but I like I like the stuff this is kind of cool this this will make your stuff more unique and I downloaded this and we're gonna see if this works and if it looks good but these are examples I'm showing you guys you don't have to go the emo route I'm, I'm saying it draws me in to want to look at the products so let's go back okay let's get started so I'm going to put the image that I edited into this so file open as layer now I'm going to scale this layer hmm, I'm gonna say 250 see what it looks like at 250 okay that's not bad and I'm gonna move it around that is not bad 250 it's not bad it doesn't show everything but it shows something now let's see what it looks like at 200 I'm gonna undo undo move undo scale layer scale layer 200 see what that looks like okay it looks better it looks much better there that's the jacket now I want to add extras on top of this I want to add the outline all right so let's do I want to do the skulls first so file open as layer I'm gonna to go to the downloads and let's see if I can find these skulls there's so many things that I download the frame I think this is the frame yes it is there it goes I have to make the frame 100 times 80 100 times 80 let's see what it looks like oh that's not bad looking actually you know what let me see what 100 times something else let's let's see what it looks like layer scale 100 times 100 let's see all right that looks a little bit better so I just added to that that made it look different now I want to add the skulls let's see where the skulls are at I don't know where the skulls are at the skulls would be maybe it's up here no spot that I 
to our grass as well. Found it. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. That's not bad. Hmm, that's not bad. Let me see. Merge down. I'm going to merge down all these. And I'm just going to see exactly what it looks like in VU. So we're going to look at it. This isn't a final thing. I just want to see. Okay, export. Let's go into VU to see what it looks like. All right, you go to upload. We just want to see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like for the background. So it's not that great, but you guys get the idea that you want to add something different, add elements to your photo, you can do that. Let's go back and look to see what it looks like with just the skulls. Okay, so we're going to undo, undo the merge, undo the merge. And do open layer. Let's open the layer again. Let's see what that looks like. That looks even better. Merge down. This looks even better. Now let's go and see what it looks like in VU. This looks even better. You didn't even need the extraness. You didn't need the frame. This looks actually really good. So there's ways you can make your stuff look unique and people want to engage and buy. If I seen this, I would want to buy this. It's really nice. It's different. I normally don't do stuff like this, but if that's the look I'm going for, if that's the look you're going for, definitely go for it. You could pull it off. This will capture people's eyes and want to buy the product. It's really nice. It's different. It Like, everything speaks for itself. They're going to want to try this jacket on just because I have this here. Um, and that's how usually a lot of people on VU shop. They're going to want to try things that catch your eye. So definitely make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. And have a good day. And if you have any questions or concerns, definitely comment down below.